On March 25, 2023, Jonathan Majors made headlines when he was taken into custody after a rumored domestic violence altercation. In a statement to Variety, the New York Police Department identified Majors as the perpetrator of an assault on a 30-year-old lady. The victim told the police that she had been beaten. The 33-year-old man was taken into custody by officers without any problems, the statement said. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital in stable condition after suffering minor injuries to her head and neck. Three months later, Majors filed a countersuit against his purported victim, subsequently revealed to be his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari, alleging that she was the one who had attacked him in March. For her personal assault accusations, Jabari was not charged, and in November 2023, the trial got underway in New York City. Majors was taken into custody in New York on March 25 after he was accused of assaulting a woman in her 30s. Majors was at the time recognized by the New York Police Department as the aggressor. Majors' representative refuted the allegations in public after his detention. Majors was charged with assault and harassment three days after his arrest. The accuser said that the Lovecraft Country actor put his hand on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain, and struck her with an open hand, causing substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear during the incident, according to a March 28 CN story. At the time, Major's attorney, Priya Chaudhry, stated that she anticipates the charges being withdrawn because the client has made two written statements recanting these allegations. The issue caused the U.S. Army to halt an advertisement campaign that featured Majors. Army Enterprise Marketing Office Public Affairs Chief Laura DeFrancisco stated to Variety that the U.S. Army is aware of the arrest of Jonathan Majors, and we are deeply concerned by the allegations surrounding his arrest. Mr. Majors has appeared in two of our most recent advertisements. Even though Mr. Majors is presumed innocent unless proven guilty, caution demands that we withhold our advertisements until the inquiry into these claims is finished. Talent Manager Entertainment 360 cut the Emmy nominee, according to a story published by Deadline on April 17. The change in representation occurred soon after Major's relationship with PR company, the lead company was severed in late March due to the scandal. Furthermore, according to Deadline, Majors and Valentino mutually agreed that the Marvel actress would not be a guest at the Fashion House's main Met Gala. Following their appearance at the Manhattan Criminal Court, Majors reportedly had a meeting with law enforcement on June 20, as reported by Insider. The publication reports that the devotion actor reported a domestic violence incident to the Chinatown precinct during their encounter. Majors said in his own court petition that he was harmed during their purported March encounter by a drunk and hysterical lady. Additionally, he claimed in the complaint that the woman had attacked him in the past during prior purported events, but he added that he had decided not to disclose those incidents. Majors then charged the lady with taking his phone and using his credit card to make purchases totaling between $6,000 and $7,000 following the confrontation. A judge set an August 3 trial date and directed Majors to stay away from Jabari during his June 20 court appearance. The prosecution asked for more time, and the case's original August trial date was rescheduled for September 6. Majors accompanied his girlfriend Megan Good to the brief hearing. A move to dismiss the case against Majors was turned down by a judge in New York. November 29 was designated as the new trial date. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office responded to Major's application to dismiss the case with 115 pages of documents before the ruling. The paper purported, according to Variety, that Major's legal team had attempted to force police officers to use Jabari's picture on a wanted poster and had leaked and falsified court evidence. The long document also says that Jabari will not be prosecuted by the district attorney's office for the domestic abuse claims stated in Major's counterclaim. An earlier incident is being looked into by the investigation before Major's was arrested in March. Prosecutors made diligent good faith efforts to obtain medical records from London related to an incident that occurred in September 2022, according to court documents obtained by Us Weekly. Jabari was taken into custody that same month on suspicion of assault and mischief. However, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office decided against bringing charges against her. 
There is no prosecutorial merit to the case, an official told us. This matter has been sealed and closed. Major's accuser, Grace Jabari, took the witness stand to start the assault trial. Before they started dating, Jabari met the actor on the set of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, according to her testimony on December 5. She asserted that their relationship finally turned abusive as it grew closer. Jabari tearfully said, according to CBS News, that Majors stopped communicating to her for days after she attended a music festival, hurled glass candles at her head, and chastised her for discussing a previous relationship. During the trial, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office produced some of Majors' previous text messages as evidence. Variety claims that Majors persuaded Jabari not to seek medical assistance for a head injury and even threatened suicide in one text discussion. Majors tells Jabari in an audio clip that he needs a partner with a certain mindset, citing the marriages of Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King Jr. and Michelle Obama and Barack Obama as examples. Coretta Scott King, you know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out, I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, let me... I'm a fantastic man, a wonderful man. Majors said in the tape, I am achieving amazing things, not just for myself, but for my culture and the world. I really do have that position. That is accurate. I don't give a shit about it. I didn't request it. I have a job and things stand as they are. The woman who stands by me must be a remarkable lady and be willing to make the same sacrifices that a guy does for her and ultimately for them. Jabari offered further information regarding the March event during the trial claiming that Majors attacked her in the car after she seized his phone to look at a text he had received from a different lady. During the struggle, she allegedly sustained a gash behind her ear and fractured finger. Majors reportedly found Jabari unconscious at his NYC penthouse the next day and contacted 911. What happened exactly, do you know? No, I don't know. She's unconscious. She's naked from the bottom down. She has a sweatshirt on. She's my ex-partner. We broke up. He was then taken into custody. The case against actor Chris Majors was primarily based on race, with Chaudhry stating that Majors' fear of what happens when a black man in America calls 911 came true. Assistant District Attorney Kelly Galloway emphasized Majors' control, domination, manipulation, and abuse as the core of the case. Majors was found guilty of third-degree assault and harassment and will be punished on February 6, 2024. Marvel Studios sacked Majors for potential projects after the verdict, and his lawyer filed a motion to have the verdict overturned. The sentencing was postponed until April 8, and Majors made a virtual appearance at his hearing. CNN correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister reported that Majors' move to be exonerated of the assault and harassment allegations was denied, meaning his conviction on assault and harassment charges will stand. Majors received a one-year sentence, including domestic violence counseling, mental health treatment, and a 52-week in-person domestic abuse program in Los Angeles. A permanent order of protection was established between Jabari and Majors, which could lead to jail time if breached. So that's all for today, guys. Don't miss out on more gripping stories. Subscribe now and hit the bell for notifications. Share this video with your friends and family and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.